In this video, we're going to look at some prerequisite concepts that you should bring with you as you begin your study of trigonometry. The word trigonometry means trigonometry. A trigon is a three-sided polygon, or in other words, what we usually call a triangle. Metry means to measure. So a trigonometry means to measure triangles. There are six fundamental measurements in a triangle that we're going to look at very often. That is, the length of the three sides and the measure of the three angles. And in fact, one of our overarching objectives in the course is to be able to solve triangles. By that we mean given any three of those six measures, be able to find all triangles that satisfy those three measurements. We'll talk more about that overarching objective uh, later on. But one of the first things that we'll look at is measuring angles. One tool for measuring angles is called a protractor. You can uh, purchase a protractor at uh, Walmart or Staples or almost any store. It's usually a plastic device that uh, has the following properties. It's a half circle that has been carefully divided into 180 equal pieces. See where it's starting out here at 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 until it finally gets around to 80. So that half circle measures 180 degrees. Well, why 180? It's probably because people realized that it took about 360 days for the Earth to circle the Sun. And so each one of these degrees was the amount of angle that the uh, the Earth makes in about one day as it goes around the Sun. Okay, you can look that up uh, on the internet and find out more about it. Here's how a, um, a protractor works. You move that center point of the pro protractor to the vertex of the triangle and carefully align one edge of that with the uh, with one of the directions of the, with one of the sides of the, the angle, one of the rays making up the angle. And then count the number of degrees that are going around here. Now, in this app uh, produced by uh, Duane uh, Habaker, it's a GeoGebra app, he shows us what the angle measure is and lets us use the uh, protractor to to be able to calculate that uh, amount. So coming from here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, it's more than 100 and less than 110. And so we can count how many degrees beyond 100 this is. And you'll notice that it's 104. It's almost 105, but you can see it's 104 degrees. Now, if that angle was at other places, see there's a, uh, 45 degree angle uh, right there. A 90 degree angle is sometimes called a right angle. 90 degree angle and a right angle are, are synonymous terms. Anything less than a right angle is called an, an acute angle. Anything bigger than a right angle is called an obtuse angle. Right angles, acute angles, obtuse angles. Now notice the angle, the size of the angle has nothing to do with the length of the sides of the angle. The angle is purely a measure of how much that's opening. A famous and very important theorem from Euclidean geometry is that given any triangle, 
the sum of the angles of the triangle is 180 degrees. In, uh, in this app, uh, prepared by uh, Tammy Borch Borchard, it's a, another GeoGebra app, we're allowed to move and adjust the triangle and calculate the sum of these three angles. And in every case, the sum of those three angles is going to be 180 degrees. No matter what happens to the triangle, the 99, the 52 or whatever it is, and the, and the 26 are going to add up to 180 change the triangle to anything else, the sum of those three angles is 180 degrees. That's the theorem that we need to know and take with us. The sum of all the angles in a triangle, the interior angles of a triangle, is always 180 degrees. Okay, here's a triangle. We've got it marked as angle A, B, and C. What we're going to be interested in here is looking at the sum of those interior angles. An important theorem of, of Euclidean geometry says that they will add up to be 180 degrees. So let's take this angle C and add to it angle B. Let's take angle B off from here and I'll add it to angle C. So there we are with angle C. C and B added together. And then we want to add angle A to all of that. Take angle A off here. Kind of keep these lined up pretty carefully for this to work the way it's supposed to. So if we add angle A to all of that, look at that. We're getting a, a straight angle or 180 degrees. The sum of the angles of an interior, the, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, and it doesn't matter what the triangle is for any triangle. That's very powerful because if we know two of the angles, we'll be able to find the third angle. That's a part of our overarching objective of being able to solve triangles.